Right, we've got something a bit unusual for you today, which I'm going to be filming on my phone. Actually, let me check the lens is clean. We're going to be filming on my phone because this was like a very unpredicted, just phone call. Hey Seb, do you want to come and drive a one-off prototype on the streets of Monaco and the surroundings of Monaco? So of course I said yes. And I've shown up and I found this, uh, which is, well, yeah, it's quite the beast. I don't even know where to start. I'm learning with you guys. Uh, I don't really know where, where to begin, but uh, yeah, first impressions is, well, I mean, it obviously looks pretty nuts, doesn't it? Um, we'll talk about the engine and everything. I've just kind of had a lowdown. I'll tell you about that when I'm driving the car. Aesthetically, let's talk about the aesthetics of this thing. Let's start round back. So, first of all, it's, it's pretty long without being too, too long, but it's very, very wide, which gives it that really imposing look. Now, we've obviously got this massive light round back, which comes out here and is floating. I don't know if you can see that with little aerodynamic details. Really cool. And you can probably hear that this is the exhaust pipe. Really unusual. I've never seen someone place an exhaust pipe like that before. But if you had in a car event, imagine uh, that shooting flames out. You need to be a little bit careful. It gets quite a bit of attention, as you can see. Um, obviously, this is going to be a quick video, but I hope you guys still enjoy it. Oh, I should probably mention that it's called the Frangivento which means wind, like going through the wind. Um, and then Asfane, which is dialect from the area uh, in Italy where it was built to say you can't do it. So kind of insinuating how everyone thought this wouldn't, that this project wouldn't happen or exist. And it's the creators, you know, kind of having a little nod to that. Um, it was, it's made in Italy, uh, in near Turin, a place called Montaglieri, funny enough, which is where my ex-girlfriend came from, so I know it quite well. Um, but yeah, awesome. I mean, carbon fiber all over the place. So we've got carbon fiber. Everyone's stopping down a look. Massive carbon fiber rear diffuser, uh, which is quite something. And yeah, all around, I think it's a mix of aluminum and carbon fiber. So this is aluminum here. And then you've got massive, massive OZ racing rims. Really, really cool. You can maybe hear also, by the way, it is a V10. We'll talk about that in a second, but it doesn't only have a V10. Huge roof scoop. I mean, Massive roof scoop behind here. That's a pretty recognizable detail on the car. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what this is. This isn't an air vent, it's just a massive kind of hole there. It looks very cool. And you could probably squeeze an air vent in somewhere here. And more carbon fiber down on the splitter, carbon fiber on the door sills, carbon fiber also on these doors. And if you can see, I mean, this is all real carbon fiber, by the way. Oh, look, you got the little plaque designed by this man right here. And then we got Donze as well. Hello. Yeah, very particular door. I've never seen a door quite like this. It opens, it's very long, opens in a you know pretty particular way. Very cool, you've got little details. I think those are like indicator lights on the side. Your indicators actually are coming through these front headlights. So around the front, I mean, yeah. If you thought it was a nuts from behind, look at that. I mean, this is a really, really cool looking thing. So this is an, a cool light, kind of like LED running around the whole thing. Indicators up here, and then through here you've got another light, um, which is pretty epic. And a very long round front and pretty low. So I'm kind of nervous to be driving this thing around town. And we'll see, we'll see what it's like, but it's going to be quite an experience. Yeah, I reckon. Right. Massive, obviously, front splitter here. We've got huge air vents right there, and then look, even this is kind of raised up above, so it slices through the air properly. Really, really cool. And then you can tell hybrid. So this one right here is a prototype, it's not finished yet. Um, so, you know, it's not at all what the finished product will look like, but eventually it will have the V10 round back and then a hybrid electric engine, well, an electric engine making it a hybrid round front, which will give it a total of 1,010 horsepower, uh, which is gonna be quite something. Um, no news on weight yet. They haven't given out any information on that kind of stuff or not 60s or anything, top speeds. We don't have any of that yet. We just know we'll have a 1,010 horsepower uh, and it'll be a hybrid. Now, we've got Italian flag, as I mentioned, car built in Italy. Where it gets really nuts as well is with this interior. So let's hop in and I'll show you. Huge door sills, so not very easy to get in. Oh, right, we're in. Now, first things first, you've got some pretty cool Sparco seats which have completely redesigned full carbon fiber back uh, to these seats. What else do we have? We've got, I mean, I don't even know where to start. You've got the Italian flag again here, a mix of red, white, a bit of blue on this logo, which this signifies the wind. Uh, these are just kind of visual details for now. Airbag, really? 
Okay. Anyways, we've got, yeah, a pretty particular looking steering wheel. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work around town. Double clutch gearbox, little screen around front there. Then another screen here, few little details around. You probably recognize this from somewhere else, but uh, they've definitely added their touch. So you've got the car here. This is the gear lever, by the way. So this is how you, you know, put it into neutral, change gear, put it into manual mode, whatever it may be. Little grip handle. Again, it being a prototype, nothing's properly finished. I mean, that doesn't feel like it's going to be holding too much, but looks very cool. Obviously a mix of leather and then Alcantara around top. Very center like the start button on the roof. Um, so this, yeah, really does remind me of the center and the kind of fighter jet uh, little lever there. And then, yeah, I mean, everything is just pretty special. Look at that. Have you ever seen a handbrake with that design? This is all your aircon. I mean, yeah, what, what is this thing? Where is it? It's just come out of completely nowhere and all of a sudden I'm taking it for a ride. Now the visibility, so this is completely from my driving position. Visibility, first of all, there's quite a lot of reflection. They said they're gonna change what this is made out of because the reflections are too, well, just too prominent. Also just so slanted, it's pretty tricky to, to see around fun. But anyways, we'll, um, we'll improvise. We don't have too much time, so I think we should probably hit the road. Donze is gonna be filming me. I'm about to hop in. We're trying to learn how it, how it works now. It's just me and Donze, two car guys. And now he can't even work the twizzy. The handbrake. Framado, down. This thing is huge. It's massive. Okay, now this is not the easiest just like hop in and drive it kind of car. Go straight because we need the uh, petrol. We need the benzina, petroleum. All right, here we are. Oh, look at this double clutch so it's a really really particular driving experience because it's a car you would not want to crunch miles in but it's also not one that particularly makes you want to take it to the track or anything like that this is the car that you kind of have sat in your living room because it's so kind of wacky from the outside and then from time to time you take it out but it's something else i mean the amount of attention it gets the visibility i mean you basically use this gap in the a pillar as a viewing point because or else it's pretty tricky to see out. Everyone, everyone turns around to have a look. It's insane. This steering wheel as well. You feel like you're literally in a video game, driving a video game. I thought it would be more weird than it is. You, oh, weirdly enough, kind of get used to it. But you can hold it from up here, you can hold it down here. It's some, oh, we're getting pulled over. Bonjour. Ah, elle est, elle est tombée un peu. C'est une prototype. Ouais. Merci. Pulled over. <laughs> Comme d'habitude. Anyway, sorry, what were we saying? So double clutch. I quite like the fact that you can use this little model of the car to change gear as well, see? And you get that naturally aspirated engine. Now, it's kind of the setup once it's done, because this is a prototype, so it's mainly to show off like the original design and look and everything. But once it's all done, it will have a similar-ish kind of setup to the LaFerrari. So big naturally aspirated engine complemented by an electric powertrain. So making it a hybrid hypercar. However, this, unlike the LaFerrari, will have over a thousand horsepower now. How will compare, I don't know, obviously, I've just hopped into this car, I have no idea too much about the story behind it, and it obviously still needs a lot of work. It's a very, very early prototype phase, but I mean, complete props to the team who have put this together, because building something like this is no easy feat, and they did it in five months, which is, uh, yeah, I mean, normally now these days to build a car, it's, it's never a question of months, it's a question of years. Oh, what's the turning circle like? Oh, wow. Surprisingly good turning circle. You have to get used to it with the steering wheel. Don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like we've got a lawnmower behind us as well. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is special. We've done some weird things together, Donze. Yeah. But driving a prototype one of one around the center first, of a first, town. First time. First time. Literally, like just hopping in, like, all right, then, boys, go have a go. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. So, I mean, massive thank you to them. This kid literally just wet himself. You know, another thing which is quite cool, you can maybe show it on your side, is this glass in the in the, in the the door yeah. panel. So, it actually is kind of fun because I can see out in front. Suspension isn't too hard either. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. I'm like, 
I, I quite like it. I really like this the feeling of this thing. Well, I, li I really feel like I'm in a video. And having a gun just here. Look, like when these. A when real these, gun. Yeah, it's a real gun, apparently. When these cars come past, I feel like I can. You know, when there's someone in your way on the highway, you're just like, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, it's quite some. You've driven it as well. What did you think? Yeah, uh, one week ago. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, because I know the two guys that realized the project. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of time that uh, I know these two guys and uh, they have a big big passion of cars and they're still working all the time or realize something that uh, you know it's it's not easy to build a car yeah it's up there oh yeah. sorry but that that ringtone matches this setting so much right now okay Ugh. Wow, I mean, look at this thing. What an animal. Right, well, that, that, I mean, that was quite something. Very spontaneous, but very cool. They'll cruise around in this thing. Uh, completely, completely brand new. You guys know it now. You know what it's called. You know where you, to find them, but I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty more of them in the future. So massive thank you. I'm going, I can't say it right every time. Frangivento, there we go. Frangivento, massive thank you to those guys um, because they have been absolute legends and very, very kind with us. So cheers. Anyways, thank you to you guys as well for watching this video and please subscribe if you aren't already and i'll be seeing you again very soon we've got some pretty uh yeah random spontaneous but fun content coming uh in the future as well so take care guys i'll see you soon cheers bye bye